Hey guys, Sean here from TGG and welcome back. So today I'm here to show you the easiest way to kill a Thunderjaw. So the two things you're going to need. You're going to need a Shadow Rattler and a Shadow Sharp Shot Bow or a Sharp Shot Bow with, with the Terror Blast Arrows. These are how you're going to defeat this boss. So first thing you're going to do is craft some freeze bolts for your Shadow Rattler. You're going to want to find a good hiding spot. I am. Um, and then you're going to want to shoot some terror blast arrows at him. They're going to want to shoot some fire arrows. Shoot fire arrows at him. And he will burn. Then grab your freeze bolts on your shadow rattler. I would suggest popping a. I would suggest grabbing your health potions. Shoot him with your freeze rattler and set him on ice. Once he freezes, switch your metal bolts. Then shoot him. Let me pop a health potion. Then you want to craft some more metal bolts more freeze bolts. Oh, I'm using freeze bolts. I don't want to be using freeze bolts. Okay. Then once he's unfrozen, you're going to like, grab your freeze bolts again. Then shoot him. And when I grab your metal bolts, And he's dead. That's how to kill a Thunderjaw extremely easily. This is the, the easiest way. I just got a 40% freeze coil and a 42% freeze coil. That is awesome. So yeah. The rest of this video is just going to be some fun. Um, on my sharp shot bow. No. On my rattler. The slot. Let's. I'm gonna put this stuff on my rattler. Um. First, I'm gonna put the 44% freeze coil. Then I'll put the 42% freeze coil. Um. Anything for this? Handling coil. I could put that on. I just have um random small tear coil for later. I don't have any stuff, so. I'm gonna head to a settlement after I pop a health potion to actually make some more health potions. To make a health potion, you're gonna need rich meat and fatty meat, which you get from killing animals. The best place to kill animals, let me show you. You're going to discover this area. Basically, it's back here. It's this area right here. It is amazing. Like, it's a very big forest. It has a strider site right there and a campfire right there. This place is plentiful with wildlife. It's where I always hunt. And, um, yeah. Let me head to a merchant real quick. I'm trying to head to a fast travel place that's very close to me. Now, the reason I haven't posted... <laughs> I'm sorry for not posting a live stream in forever. I just... I've been really busy. Like, I... I've just been... I've been away from home. I went on a vacation. And I just... <sighs> I've been getting back into my home, playing this game, getting good at it, so I can show you guys some tutorials on how to take down enemies. I'm going to make tutorials like this to take down every single enemy. So the main way, I'm going to teach you how to take out a watcher, just shoot it in the eye. <laughs> and the striders are really easy to shoot their blaze canister in their eye. Now, um, the really hard ones to kill when you're at low level is sawtooths. And the main upgrade path I would go with for your first two like main upgrade paths you're gonna want to do you'll be like level 18 once you complete both of them first one you're going to want to go down the brave path with critical hit double shot and triple shot this makes your arrows do so much damage and also makes it so you can like instantly set sawtooth on fire 
Um, next path I would have you go down is, um, is this one, Gatherer, so you can get more stuff, Ammo Crafter, and all that. Also got on this path, like, if, because Tinker, I, um, had my Karja Hunterbow, had, um, a 41% damage coil on it, and I took that off. I was able to take it off with this. That's why I got it in the first place. Disarm Traps is useful. Herbalist is definitely useful, and Healer is good, you too. Combat Override. I'm going to get this one next, because it makes it you can have a machine being overrided forever. Um, it's just getting knocked down. Um, I don't really know if you're going to want to use this. I use Concentration some to get headshots. I know Quiet Sprint's going to be useful. Um, this Strong Strike is going to be useful. I don't really care about these, but Leader Strike might actually be very useful. Strike below, not really. Strike above it might be useful. But Silent Strike, you should definitely get that. Let me quick save. Head to a merchant and trade in my stuff. Where's the merchant? There, um, he's up there. What? What's that? It's a box. Where's the box? What's in the box? I don't even know where the box is. So I'm just gonna go to the mer- Excuse me, pig. Two teeth. Oh, there's a bandit camp. Up here. It's level 9. I can take it out. Solo. So basically, if you don't know, you can go to a merchant. And you can buy, um, stuff. Like, you can buy weapons, you can buy the sharp shot from him, um, to, in order to get the shadow, um, the shadow rattler, you're gonna have to get a rabbit skin, a boar skin, and a fox skin, and trade it to the trader in Meridian, and that'll allow you to unlock freeze bolts, which is well, very useful. So, what's hard point do? I don't even know what these arrows do yet. Well, I'll test them out. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Then you can sell stuff. Like I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff. Like, like luminous braiding, rabbit bone, thunder jaw heart. I ki I've been killing a lot of thunder jaws recently, mainly because they give you really good rewards. And um, you can sell all your poop that you get from. Um, machines and stuff. And yeah, and keep your process metal blocks. I've learned that crystal braiding is very useful too, so don't sell those. You can sell all your lenses and all your desert glass that you get from bandits. I raided some bandits earlier today. So, this, these reflective ancient charms. Uh, here are those, ancient black bracelet, ancient chimes. All oh, those are not very useful. But keep your process of metal blocks and your crystal braiding because you can trade them in Meridian for stuff. I have mods, I have some. I can sell this stuff that I don't need. It's all that. I have a corruption coil, I'll keep that. Health potion, I only cost six, really? I already have um, six of those. Yeah. So. Um, let me teach you how to um, pick up the tripwire. So if you shoot a shock wire here, you pick it up, and um, you get it back into your tripcaster. Um, I suggest getting a fire wire. I suggest getting everything shadow like I have. And the hard point arrow does a lot more damage. And more tear. So it's basically just better. Cost ten and five. Okay, let me um, let me buy some rich wood. It's really easy to buy rich wood. All you need to do is um, go to resources, go down here. Wood bundle only costs five sparkers and twenty metal shards for two hundred ridge ridge wood, which is amazing. Yeah, chill water is very useful for ice. You can buy ammo, free sample box. <laughs> um. You can buy your stuff back. I'm, I'm level 28, so I obviously know what I'm doing. Um, I want to sell my Karja bow. Um, 
keep forgetting to do stuff. But yeah, merchants are very useful. Goodbye, Karja Hunter Bow. You are good for quite a while. Um, now the I do not like these traps because they're not very useful for me. Basically, when I'm take damage, it blows up, which is really annoying. But yeah, um, let me go to another Thunder Jaw site and kill another one on camera. <laughs> So that's, that was awesome. Like the moment I I was gonna live stream just now, and the moment I went into this moment I spawned in, I was right next to a thunder jaw. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so yeah, this is another thunder jaw. Just use the same strategy I taught you earlier, and you'll be able to kill as many thunder jaws as you would like. Like it's only gonna take some chill water and some shards and some ridge wood, but it's. it's so useful. Like, I killed that Thunderjaw in two minutes. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter how high your level is, as long as you start off with a Terror Blast arrow, get him, get his health available so you can actually do damage. Set him on fire, then freeze him, then shoot him with Metal Bolts. See, I spawned near another Thunderjaw. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is awesome. Let me, um, let me hold off on that. Let me. I had to man. I accidentally clicked manual save. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. No. 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 Bad. 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 Stop being a bad. Okay. His health is vulnerable. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding me? I. Grab the wrong arrows. Just shoot your arrows as fast as you possibly can. Set them on fire, then the freeze does not cancel out the fire. Then just go up close and personal. Grab your freeze bolts on your rattler. Freeze them with your shotgun. Last, then shoot with metal bolts. I have some people over here helping me, so that's really nice. Probably gonna kill him even faster. Are you kidding me? I grabbed the wrong thing. It's super easy to kill a Thunder Jaw this way. I'm actually kind of less professional than I was. Let me craft some more metal bolts. And some more freeze bolts. Okay, just stay away from his um blasts. Those are some glint hawks over there. And since I got that freeze upgrade, I can freeze them faster. It makes my life a lot easier for killing these things. And then I can just kill it. First time I tried to kill it, I failed miserably. I was like back when, back in, back, back in level like, I'm now level 29. Oh, Glidhawks, they burn really easy when you have a fire upgrade. Let me, um, grab this stuff. It's extremely rewarding to kill a Thunderjaw. Man, these fire coils are so useful. Let me see what I got. Um, inventory mods. I have a new fire coil. A corruption coil, corruption coil. Resist fire weave. Okay, let's go crafting. Modify weapons. 36. I can replace that with a 37. Wait, did I... Oh, please tell me. Yes, it... No, it... Yes, it saved. Okay. Yeah, with Tinker, it saves it. And, um... Yeah, the Shadow Shop Shop Bow is a very... Oh. I can't put Corruption... Oh, yeah, it's because of the War Bow. 39% Corruption Coil, Corruption Coil, Corruption Coil. I have a 43. That is... Well, they priced a 38 with a 43. And in um, crafting War Bow, 
I have a 34 and a 38. That is amazing. All the corruption coils I can put on this war bow. Well, let's um, grab my rope caster. There's nothing for it. So, yeah. This is me killing some random stuff. That was me killing two thunder jaws in like two or three minutes. That's how fast you can kill thunder jaws. But you, you know, but you have to have um, you have to have the um, at least something to freeze him. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to kill him. It's just getting hunting for animals and just grinding for them. Because it's going to be very useful. Hard point arrows. They do a lot more damage. I don't know what they normally do. Let me let me try to... Let me, uh, they're just like better arrows. Oh, okay. I have not... I didn't know this. I didn't test them out this morning. You're a glint hawk. Let me grab a fire arrow. Just, um... Glint hawks are weakness is fire. So just shoot them with some fire arrows. And set them on fire. Crouch in the tall, in the hide in the tall dry grass. <laughs> if you get that reference, I'm actually gonna tell you in a second. If you get the reference, write it now before I tell you. It's from the Crudes. Um, if you watch that movie, this this game's a lot like it. <laughs> Nothing like it. You actually kill the robot, the robot dinosaurs, and you actually kill them. <laughs> the Crudes was nothing like that. It was just a funny movie. Me. Okay, you can just use like a quick draw on your um bow and kill it. Let me craft some more fire arrows. Grab my hunter arrows. I have to search for this other glint hawk. Let me search for it. Where are you? There it is. That one right there. Yeah. You can use your focus to um search for things like the dead kills are like a little beacon. Like, as you can see right there, it's like a little beacon there. You go over there. You cannot track it. I wish you could. At an attic gorilla, please. You know, like a free update. <laughs> then you can find your kills, and then you can collect the stuff. You can actually get chill water from Glen Hawks. Let me actually show you the easiest creatures to kill. I have to talk to that guy. Um... The broadhead. So all you need... I don't even think you need that anymore. I think I already have like a really good fire coil. So I should be able to like summon fire in one arrow. Two arrows to set these guys on fire. Two arrows to set these guys on fire. I think you are bad. Let me... Um, these things. It might be bandits, so I'm gonna grab some arrows. Oh, you guys are friends. Hi. I'm sorry, I didn't know that you guys were friends. <laughs> yeah, these things are so easy to kill. It just take like, with a good fire coil, it just takes like two fire arrows. And you're done. Um, let me try to find the other, where, where's that other broadhead that ran away? That's nil. Okay, let me go talk to him. And, um, I actually want to turn my, um, volume and my settings up. Let me go to settings real quick. There you go. Yeah, that actually sounds good. I'm sorry for Feels that little good, pause. doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let You're it creepy. Ugh, I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agree. Um, well, one second, guys. I need to... I need to do something. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. 
I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. I like this guy. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, they don't get that look in their eyes. You're creepy, actually. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way, too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight. Yeah, he's kind of no creepy. Cares if you kill them. That's funny. I guess you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. I'm doing what I love. And what could be wrong with that? Bye bye. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. <laughs> Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by our world. Okay. Um, next thing I want to take out in bandit camp, then I'll end the stream. Where's that bandit camp again? I, it was it was like a level 9 one that I ran into. It's not near Meridian. Um, bandit camp level 9. It, I think it was like back here. Back in this little area. Yeah, bandit camp right here. Um, let's track that. And fast travel. Um... I'm actually gonna try these um new arrows. They cost more, but they do more damage apparently. So I'll try them out. See if I can do a lot of damage. Anyways, I really like killing Thunder Jaws because they give you amazing rewards. They give you super rare or legendary, as I like to call them, or purples modification coils, which is very very fun. I'm sorry for all you Xbox players out there, this game is PlayStation exclusive, but it is so fun. Like, seriously, this game is awesome. And I probably won't be posting Destiny for a while, so I might actually be posting a new game that I got. I Like I said, I got these games on March 26th on my birthday, so let me quick save so I can keep my stiffs. I just got XP times 100. 1,000. 10,000. Okay, next. I mean, I need three, so I need to get to 31 in order to do this. I'm heading towards the bandit camp. Make sure, like, when you're playing this game, to grab or, to grab all the medicine that you find out in the wild. Like, that is uh, essential to your survival. Like, it is so essential so to your survival. So much Die, rabbit, die. Where's the machines? There's no machines here, so... Okay. <laughs> Grab all the medicine that you can. It is so useful when encountering everything. Well, anyways, I'm gonna end the stream here. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. Helps my channel grow, and it helps me know that you like my videos. And helps my videos be shared to people, other people who play games like Destiny and Horizon. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Sai, no. Sironica, out.